minutes wake up in the morning look in that mirror and tell yourself i can i'm beautiful i'm not going to let the past define me i'm not going to live my life for others i'm not going to compare my life to how other people live there smack it, smack it in the air. here if this is your first time seeing me please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and be part of the family and everybody else that's already subscribed to my channel I just want to say thank you so much you guys for supporting me let's jump right into today's topic so today we're gonna to be talking about how to practice self-care yes so I have a question for you when last did you spare time for yourself to just say today's time is for me not for anything else like not for your friends not with your family just for you you know like a day where you just say this day is for me i'm just gonna do everything dedicating that thing for my well-being that's what we're gonna be talking about today so if you're interested please continue watching last year i actually realized that i was going through a lot of like you know um depression i don't know if i would call it you know depression or anxiety but i just feel like i wasn't at the best step with myself i wasn't really at the best step with myself and i feel like i needed time to like rediscover the things that were working for me in terms of like being emotionally stable and not being affected by any little thing that happens in my life you know stuff always comes and you know changes things and yeah changes the way you feel about yourself so i just started doing more of self-care last year and I would say it's been one of the best experiences that I've gone through like in the sense that it literally helped me to recharge and to also discover stuff about myself that I never knew like it's magical um, I used to do self-care in the past but I wasn't really really dedicated to read as I am now and later last year like last year was like kind of took a different turn whereby self-care became very very serious in my life so I just wanted to share with you guys the tips some of the things that I was doing to just get myself back on track and to just you know feel whole again and to just feel like I got it all together I kind of started creating time for myself to meditate yeah um, so I know that yoga is one of the things that a lot of people do because it helps you to meditate and kind of focus on the most important things like to just focus on you and you being calm and it, I, yoga actually greatly reduces anxiety too so it's like one of the things that you can do if you want to reduce anxiety or just you know want to bring your thoughts together which i only took yoga as a class but i never get to do yoga in my room but i know i just have my times whereby i just sit and think about stuff you know my, about my life uh, my plans and yeah kind of not really like yeah it's not like isolating yourself per se but it's just you creating time to just dedicate it to yourself and your own things like there are just times you just need to be yourself to be to be alone and to just think about your life you know you're not always gonna be with your sister your family or you know your friends and all that so I just feel like meditation is one of the things that can greatly help with depression anxiety and you know other emotional stuff that comes with life yeah some other people actually meditate uh, using journaling like I feel like journaling yeah is also a great way of bring your thoughts together and also just think about yourself and your life yeah because you basically pouring your, your heart on paper so you you know your thoughts and everything you just write it down and maybe you've got plans or you're just setting some goals for that particular year or month or whatever you're doing so I feel like journal journaling is actually good but personally I don't do a lot of journaling I prefer to do meditation yeah whereby I just sit in a quiet room and yeah just think about my life and all that I feel like it really really helps me so yeah so if you choose meditation you can do yoga you can do journaling those are some of the stuff you can do yeah. and the second thing that I feel like really helped me a lot was 
kind of finding fun activities to do that were not really like acting as a distraction but activities that were replacing things that were making me to be you know depressed i think that's the right word so it's not you're not really getting distracted by the activities that you're doing but those activities are now replacing the thoughts that are causing you to experience a lot of depression and all that stuff of course like some things that i started to do more like i've always loved to cook but i started to cook more um i start of course as i say i started to do more self-care stuff like you know taking care of um maybe um my body and yeah taking myself on pampering and i feel like pampering actually also helps like for me pampering helps a lot it kind of reduces the time that i spend on self-criticizing myself because i realize most of the depression that i usually develop is <laughs> actually comes from like within me so it's not like a depression that comes from an external influence it's just depression that comes from within me because i usually self-criticize myself and i feel like one of the most dangerous stuff you can ever do to yourself is like judge yourself and that's the thing that i really do like it's really hard to get rid of that and it mostly causes me to like just judge myself and yeah it just sends me to depression so me always trying to find time for pampering like going to get my nails done um trying to go and you know get maybe you want to go get your hair done all that stuff like i mostly do my hair by myself so it's not really a big thing but nails and all those little stuff going shopping those are my things for self pampering so yeah i think you choosing an activity that's gonna help you again as i said earlier to take your mind off the things that are causing you to feel depressed because those things are slowly gonna replace those thoughts yeah so the third tip you guys is self-affirmation self-affirmation is gonna build your self-confidence wake up in the morning look in that mirror and tell yourself i can i'm beautiful i'm not gonna let the past define me i'm not going to live my life for others i'm not going to compare my life to how other people live theirs you know so you should always make sure you encourage yourself and I understand it can be hard but you have to tell yourself that to build your own self-confidence because even when your friends can help build who you are or who you're trying to be they cannot build you from zero you know what I mean you need to have something like you need to be confident with yourself and uh, having self-confidence means a lot it also means that you're not always going to seek approval or validation you're not always going to ask for people's opinion, let's say about your self-care journey. If you're trying to care more about yourself, and let's say you've got friends that don't really do self-care, maybe they'll tell you, oh my goodness, you're just wasting your time, da 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 da, and all those stories. And what you need is self-confidence. If you really want something that's gonna help you change you positively, you wanna be able to encourage yourself and tell, you, tell yourself that you can do this, you know? always do self affirmations in the morning when you wake up or maybe before you go to bed or maybe things are not going great i feel like self affirmations always also help us to get back on track and uh, the last thing that i'm going to talk about like when it comes to self care guys is always getting friends that are going to help you um succeed in the stuff that you're doing or maybe friends that are just going to be there for you genuine people authentic people no people who are just gonna be there like you know there to just watch your progress or whatever you're doing you need to be having like confidence like friends who you can talk to they'll give you real advice on stuff and those are people who are also gonna help you like to fight certain things that come in your life like I feel like there are certain friends in my life who I talk to about very very sensitive things and every time I talk to them like I feel better like maybe because having to talk to somebody and having to deal with something on your own is different because when you talk to someone you realize oh i'm not alone you know i'm not the only person going through this or this person understands the way i feel or the way i think you know so always have a circle of friends who are going to understand you you know don't have friends that are just going to be like oh yeah i'm hearing what you're saying and three minutes later after you're done explaining they ask you oh you know what i wanted to ask you about our plans you know and all that stuff like maybe they don't even give a comment on what you taught them they're not even concerned about you you want people who are going to be concerned about you concerned with your progress of course 
obviously you should also look out for your friends but you need people that are going to be a great support system for a self-care journey because if you are going to be having like emotional breakdowns you want people to confide in or if you are going to be experiencing depression you need people who you're going to talk to about your, your situation you know um i mean if you're from an african home like me there's one thing i learned about my family they're, they're not really good at talking you know what i mean like if i'm going through like emotional stuff i don't always feel comfortable to always tell my family immediately but i i do tell let's say my sisters but i rarely do like tell my parents about stuff that i go through you know as an african i think that friends actually <laughs> play to some extent they play a very big role compared to how some parents play their role you know like i feel like in african homes most if you're going through something like parents will be like pray you know you'll be okay pray you know for them they always think like everything is like prayer prayer religion which it's not always the case like let's say you're depressed and all that Prayer cannot always solve everything. Like you, sometimes you just need someone to talk to, then that you feel better and that issue goes away. Whilst prayer can be important, but it's not everything. That's what I think. Like that's just my opinion. Like okay, so don't come for me in the comments. That's just my opinion. I love religion, but I feel like religion does not always solve issues that um, like issues to do with depression and anxiety. You know what I mean? So if you want real self care, have a great support system. And yeah, I feel like it always helps. You.